Welcome, welcome back. I hope everybody's uh, had a good time doing something fun. Uh, how's your uh, virtual learning going? Yeah, I know, it's hard. Again, like I said last time, my uh, daughter's, my granddaughter, she's in the fourth grade and she's just, you know, it's no fun. It's no fun and I get it. So I hope that you've come here to, to do an art project with me today. My name is Mr. Paul and I am an, I'm an artist. I've been an artist all my life and uh, I'm an art teacher and I've been working in all kinds of places like schools and libraries and community centers and you know just for, for many many years. And what I've done uh, working with the Oklahoma Children's Theater is I've picked three different projects uh, to do uh, videos for them. And uh, they were some of the more fun projects that I've been doing for a long time in the school. So I'm glad you're here. Uh, keep in mind, you don't have to be a great artist here. All you have to come in and is try and one of the most important things I want you to take from this, uh, this art class today is I want you to have fun. You know, forget about uh, school for a little bit and, and uh, get off your, your computer or your, <clears throat> your iPhones and, and let's do some art. Let's do some art. Let's do some fun, silly things and be creative and use our imagination today. That's what we're all about today. And this project is something that, I don't know about you, but I, when I was your age, I had to um, share a bedroom with my older brother, which is no good because everybody wants their own room, right? So right after my older brother got a little older uh, and got his own room, I had my own room. Yay! It was mine. I could do whatever I wanted. And one of the first things I did was I created a poster to put on the, uh, the door of my bedroom that said basically, this is Paul's room, stay out, right? And so I thought that would be a fun thing to do today. I don't know if you have your own bedroom or if you have, you sleep with uh, a couple of your brothers or sisters or what have you, uh, but I thought this would be kind of fun to do. And when I mean fun, I mean uh, I want to cre help you create a poster that will go on that room. Now we can be silly and we can say many things, and one of the things I want you guys to keep in mind when we're doing this silly little project is don't be mean, right? I know brothers and sisters, they fight and stuff like that. And so we don't want to get mean. We don't want to say mean things on your poster. But I mean the idea of saying, you know, uh, beware, Paul's room, or I'm not responsible for to what happens to you if, if you come into my room, you know? Something silly like that. So, for those of you who are into this, please, let's do this. I think this will be fun. And maybe you can actually put it up on your door or up, you know, somewhere in your room. Uh, all you need is a regular, I'm using a really big piece of paper because you can just see it better. But you can use, you know, just regular paper like this. This is copy paper or art paper like that. You need uh, a pencil, some erasers, uh, and some kind of color. I use, I like colored pencils, <clears throat> but if you want to use crayons, go for crayons. Crayons are good. Uh, if you have markers, you could like maybe outline everything in a marker, something like that. Uh, you can use either markers and colored pencils. Hey, and even if you have some like watercolor, uh, uh, a water, watercolor set at home, that's something that you can do too. 
you know, just whatever, however you want to color. But I think it needs to be really colorful, right? So, if everybody's got their materials, right, uh, we can start on this. Uh, just keep in mind, nothing mean, don't want anything mean. Hey, we've got too much meanness out there already without you adding to it. So let's stay, let's stay funny, okay? Um, uh, I want you to use your imagination. I'm going to show you what I'm going to do, but you don't have to do it that way, right? I want you to come up with what you think would be funny about announcing before you come into my room. Announce something, you know. King Paul says, kneel to me as you come into my room. It could be anything like that, okay? So if you're ready, let's begin. Okay, the first thing that, the first thing that I'd uh, suggest that you do, because you're gonna make this look, you know, official, is I want you uh, to think about your lettering, right? Now, I know that the majority of you um, know how to make block letters, but what we're gonna do for those of you who don't, it's really simple. And I'm, I'm gonna just give you a little bit of a test on how to make block letters or bubble letters. And so, it's real simple, guys. Uh, if you know how, if you know your alphabet, which I know you do, and you know how to draw them, which I know you do, what you do, lightly with a pen piece of a pencil, draw the letter right make it big and bold the next thing you do all you have to do is go around the entire letter like that even in the inside and then you take the eraser and you erase the original P Ta-da! How about a B? I know how to make a B. Right? Simple, simple, simple. In fact, this is so simple that you only have to go around it once and not on the inside. So you don't even have to erase the original one, right? Let's do one more. How about A? This is real simple, you guys. Now, for those of you that know how to make letters, you know, without doing it this way, you go for it, right? It's just... A little tutorial when we start. So it's real simple. Draw your letter, outline it, and if it's got an inside to it, you outline that as well, and then erase your, your lines, okay? Real simple. Just thought I'd give you a real quick on that because some of you may not know how to do that. Okay, what I would like first for you to do is to make kind of a border around it. Yes, you can use a, a ruler if you want, but you don't have to either. You can free draw. It doesn't have to be perfect, you guys. Here we go. There we go. Now, first things first. What are you going to say? I've gotten, I've, what I'm doing is, uh, I, I think this is what it was when I was a kid. I remember drawing. And what I did is what I said a moment ago is, be where. I don't know what I meant by that, other than, ooh, be afraid, you're coming into my room. 
beware. Okay. Then I put and I made my letters really big. Paul. Paul's room. Ta-da! Pretty simple. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go around all of these and make these big bold letters. Got to space these out. And again, when you do your original letters, you know, just the way you normally draw them, draw lightly so when you get that eraser it's really really easy to erase because we're going to color these in anyway right there we go done quicker. I hope you're working along with me. Make sure that you get your name. Make sure, I don't mean, you can do anything that you want, but make sure that your name is on this poster, right? What you're doing is you're announcing to anybody that's going to walk in that room that that's your room. Leave my room alone. There we go. Okay. I'm almost finished here. I'm going real fast right now, so. So you don't get too bored here. <clears throat> okay, take my eraser, do a little bit of erasing. Yep. Hope you've come up with a, a fun saying for your your poster here. There we go. Keep in mind, this is something that you may hang up. Now, you might want to do, and I think this is kind of fun as well, is why don't you make some of your letters into different things? And what I mean like that is, is look at... Uh, um, Look at the letters and ask yourself, well, what can I, what can I make that into, right? Um, let me see. Um, I could make this U. As a cup. Of 7 up. I could use, let's see, I could make the S into a snake. How about a striped snake? I could make 
one of these O's into an olive. I'll put a toothpick in it. You know, olives are green and then red in the center. Anyway, play with it. You know, this, this, this could be kind of fun thing for you to do. Um, uh, where it's going to get really fun, I think, is when you start coloring them in. And instead of just coloring them in just one solid color, let's say you make one of them stripe it. Stripe it. And choose, let's say I'll choose one color here and one color here. So because I'm going to make it stripe it, stripe that. Hey guys, go, go crazy. Use your imagination. You can use different colors, uh, even colors that aren't supposed to go together. Uh, and make it dark. Because remember, this is, for me anyway, it's a beware. Beware, I'm, I'm telling people ahead of time that there might be something in my room that is dangerous, so beware. So make it bold, make it colorful. Here we go, I got one color, and I think I'm gonna go with yellow for the other one. Yeah. There we go. See? Relatively easy, you know. Uh, you might want to take a dark color and just kind of outline it. You could use a marker, right? Just to outline. There we go. And let me see. I think I'm going to make my snake green. So, I hope you can continue to watch, uh, I mean, to work on your uh, room sign. A nice one, a silly one. Uh, I think it'll be fun to uh, maybe do it and maybe get some tape or something and tape it up on your wall or tape it up on your, your door for a while. Um, just something to do, something different. Uh, anyway, I'm glad you, you're, you made it today. Uh, if you haven't finished, I know that I didn't finish mine, but uh, I hope I gave you enough information for you to, to finish up and, and, and I'm sure you're going to do a good job. So uh, until next time, uh, thanks for coming back. Um, and next time, uh, there's, we're going to be doing a new project. And I hope that you can be a part of that too. Take care. Bye-bye.